Here we are in episode 28 of the Simple Success Podcast. This is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. When you change you, you change everything. Last week, we talked about the science of being well. This week, the pod is about the science of being great. This stuff is so important that I've made recordings of it. Really? Really? I've read the entire item, the entire book, chapter by chapter into MP3 files so I can play them back. And I have played them back dozens of times each for myself. C, repetition, and C, patience. Two things I talk a lot about here. You might notice that I've talked a little about the science of being well, and of course, this pod is about the science of being great. The third part of the trilogy is the science of getting rich, which, surprise, the topic randomizer has not yet brought into the mix. Yet. Still, I really like the message here. I mean, what's not to like? Just the way that first chapter starts, any person may become great. Let's just take every possible restriction off the table. I know, there are real obstacles to things sometimes. In no way do I deny that. Just the same, just looking at the percentage breakdown, millions of people put restrictions on themselves every day. Usually, that's not intentional either. Remember that you're not going to see me running a half marathon anytime soon thing? That is a restriction, and we all do it, me included. All the more reason to figure out how to do better. We all need a better star reading. We all need real power. Author Waddles even says in the first chapter that we need to both first accept and then embrace change. He says that life without progress becomes unendurable. I agree with that. We have to progress. And to progress, we have to start. That's step one. Seems obvious, but it's also important. Obvious is good. The brain does not make the man. The man makes the brain, says Waddles in chapter two. As a man thinketh, says James Allen. See what I see there? Do you like this mental picture? We all want to be great, and we can be. Part of being great is helping others to succeed. Part of helping others is paving the way for them, taking action as well as helping others take action. Some of that pavement should be financial. That means you need a little more than just to take care of yourself. Look at these good practices as another reason to invest. The book then goes into the sources of power for a bit and then into the habits and thoughts. Fertile ground, as many of you know, and as we'll spend a lot more time looking at. While this is, of course, a mental exercise, it carries with it a ton of practical application. I highly recommend the Wallace Waddles trilogy, which includes the science of getting rich, the science of being well, and the science of being great. I've linked to that as an Amazon book, even though this podcast is not sponsored by Amazon. I've also included a link to a free version of just the science of being great, if you prefer that. Both are in the show notes. So, since you like the idea of becoming great, but like many people, haven't found a way to implement the principles into their everyday life, since you know you're not already as great as you can possibly conceive yourself to be, you're in the right place. Hello everyone, this is John with the Simple Success Podcast financial life coaching from a happiness perspective, because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us. Please head over to HTTPS, whack, whack, anchor.fm, whack, simple success. That's one word, simple success, whack, support. There, you can choose from a $9.99 per month doer level of support, a $4.99 listener level, or a basic intro level of just 99 cents per month. That's not much when you compare it to a stockbroker, right? And this is so much more sensible. To leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast, go to https whack whack anchor dot fm whack simple success. Again, one word, simple success whack message. I won't repeat those links because weird. And anyway, show notes. The science of being great. Once upon a time, our hero Daniel Rose felt great. This was a good thing. Why? Why was it a good thing? Because as a man thinketh, if you feel great, you're on your way to being great. It wasn't just a feeling, though. There was a science to it. One might even say it was subliminal. That is, a bit below the conscious level of thinking, which puts it in the category of being a habit. Daniel felt great because of one of the habits he'd installed in himself. It was the habit of growing what he already had. And that also was for a reason. Daniel had realized that a true life of prosperity could be his by following the simple average of success. Daniel had realized that he could do well and do good. In Amazon lingo, he had the eligible items. Maybe even do well by doing good, a dream he'd, like many of us, had for a long time. Oh, it was a bit less specific than digging a tunnel under Los Angeles, for example, but it was still a good thing, even if just the seed of a good thing. A seed that could be planted because the start was started. Greatness is only attained by the thinking of great thoughts, says the science of being rich. 
Daniel, being polite people, knew that was a code of practice he had to live by and that he first had to get started. We'll be back with our CTA, our call to action, right after the break. In this Simple Success Podcast, as well as in our webinars and masterclasses, we are very, very much going to want to hear your story. Well, to be real, I mean in future episodes of the podcast's webinars and masterclasses. This means you. Your participation is critical to our mutual simple success. It's important to know how you think, what you've thought, what you've tried, and what you've been unsure of trying. As we told you at the beginning, and as you also find in the show notes, we have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know when that happens. Together, we're going to make it great. We're going to do what even we didn't think possible. We know a lot about you already because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. The reason every podcast asks you this is because when you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. This means better rankings, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And that means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Oh, and don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. Remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Right after this, we'll explore some more important details you should know. But for now, use your imagination to help create your story. Next week, we're going to look at another concept, and that is... I've been robbed. That got picked for me by my topics randomizer. It really did. I'm not prepackaging this stuff, but instead making it relevant so we can all, me included, learn how to do this right. And we're going to bring that into the world of investing and it's going to be a great episode. But for now, remember, happy World Bicycle Day. I mean, all you need to do is practice, after which you'll get good. Gracias por escuchar. A la prochaine. Credits for today's episode. Techno King, John C. Brandy, Seagull Example, Shola Salako, Fact Checker, Abraham Lincoln, French Consultant, Virginia Mitchell, Media Expert, Favor Abasi Ike, Psychologist, Sigmund Freud, Rabbit Hole Advisor, Dr. Mark Parrott, Sound Designer, Guglielmo Marconi, Spanish Consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy, Videographer, Alfred Hitchcock, Audio Props, Les Paul, and Inspiration, Napoleon Hill, Earl Nightingale, and Bob Proctor. Look at the written show notes to subscribe, to support, or to send us a voice message.